Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Okay, um, once again, you know, um, I just got to bring something to people's attention, something that came out of uh, Sean Porter, his own mouth. Uh, basically, Sean Porter did a segment for the PBC show on uh, FS1. And basically, this was his own segment. And basically, Sean Porter said out of his own mouth that he's looking at either Manny Pacquiao, I think Danny Swift Garcia, or Errol Spence Jr. He says he really wants to rematch with Errol Spence Jr. But he said at the same time, he want Errol Spence to be who he was when he fought him in September. He said anything short of that is like cheating the fans. Well, that sounds all good and dandy, but... You know, um, it is what it is. Sean Porter is not responsible for whatever people think or may have happened with Errol Spence outside of boxing. So, to a certain degree, you know, okay. If Now, let's talk about a dude once again that, once again, Sean had ample opportunity to say, hey, I want to fight this dude. This is the dude I'm looking at. He had a chance to publicly call out Terrence Bud Crawford. And he did not do it. Once again, he's only interested in fighting PBC fighters. Now, you got people once again making videos, you know, putting these... You know, putting it all on Bud. Look, at the end of the day, people hate Bud for whatever reason. Is it because of what people heard about Bud or seen some of the, some of his antics, how he acts towards, in particularly, black media at times? Okay, that may be the case. But at the end of the day, people use that as an excuse to attack him. Bud could shit wrong or, or fort like Wendy Williams did and people would bitch about it because a lot of people just don't like Bud. Me, myself, I don't have no ill will towards him. I have been pushing a hate campaign against Bud, but you know who been doing that. You know who, who they are. You know who they are. Real talk. And then, okay, I just remember last year when Kenny Porter, and, you know, I saw Kenny Porter. I had to apologize to him because, you know, um, I respect Kenny Porter and I got to meet Kenny Porter and I got to talk to him. Kenny Porter is an all right dude. He's a he's a good dude. You know? And um, you know, I had to apologize for the K Diddy shit. You know, I'm a man. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I gotta approach somebody like a man and I'll talk to him like a man because I'm a real man. You know what I'm saying? So I hollered at him, you know, and you know, me and Kenny, we cool. I talked to Kenny, he texts me when you know with information. When I ask for it, here's the thing. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, Sean is the one that got to put his name on the contract. To my knowledge, Kenny Porter don't have a power of attorney to where he could sign shit on Sean's behalf, at least not to fight somebody. And then he say they ain't got no offer from, from Bob Aaron. Well, he also said that he haven't heard about Sean and Bud talking. But you have these dudes, and you know who they are, these, these PBC nut huggers, these Al Heyman apologists, who just gonna ride somebody's jock strap no matter what. No matter how many facts are put in front of them, they're gonna sit up there and lie, or they're gonna mislead the fans, mislead the public, leave out shit. Because they trying to push an agenda. Like I told you. I'm not getting a paycheck from nobody. So I'm not kissing nobody's ass. Now I'm going to talk about this bud and this MMA shit. In the next couple of videos. Because I got to address that too. And I need to talk about that. Now it's funny how all of a sudden just last year. Everybody talking about. You know. Kenny Porter was a liar when he was talking about Errol Spence was was running from uh, from Sean Porter and that it was Errol Spence holding that everybody saw Kenny's a liar Kenny don't name don't hold no weight now all of a sudden everything Kenny say is the gospel now 
So now all of a sudden everything Kitty say is the truth. And I'm not saying that Kitty Porter is a liar. I'm mostly talking to you guys. You guys flip flop too much. You guys flip flop more than, than pancakes at, at, at IHOP. So now all of a sudden, whatever Kitty say, Kitty say is the gospel. At the end of the day, once again, it's it come down to Sean. Sean had his opportunity to publicly call out Bud Crawford. And he didn't do it. He said out of his own mouth, it's either Errol Spence Jr., number one, Manny Pacquiao, and then I think he said a rematch with Garcia. Did not mention nothing about Bud Crawford. Because you know why? They don't want to fight Bud Crawford. And Al Heyman is not going to let none of those dudes fight Bud Crawford. For whatever reason. Just keep in mind, once again, people fail to realize that the dude, one of the head ups at PBC, said straight up, they not looking to make a match with Bud. Because Bud don't have a big, uh, a, a big enough name. And we all know that that's total bullshit. You know, you got some dudes here that just, like I say, they they just flat out liars. And they just make up shit. You, like I said, you know who these dudes is and I don't give a damn about nobody getting mad. I'm keeping it 100. Nobody don't tell me what to say. This is just real talk, man. At the end of the day, man, people like misleading the public, man, and I'm not going to do that. These dudes just don't want certain fights to get made because at the end of the day, a lot of these dudes are just Al Heyman apologists and PBC apologists. Now that came out of Sean Porter's own mouth, but you don't see nobody making no videos talking about that. Where are those videos at? That came out of Sean Porter's own mouth. You did not hear him mentioned bud they didn't ask him about bud but you will have people that are insinuate try to say oh bud is ducking and all this and let me get this let, let, let me get this straight with everybody else too let me set the record straight i am not no bud bud crawford apologist but i'm just telling the truth people keep forgetting that sean porter said the same exact thing that bud said but everybody seemed to forget that. But they showed, Ken, you you know, and they seen that forgot just last year. They didn't believe shit that came out of Kenny Porter's mouth. At the end of the day, a lot of these dudes is just Errol Spence nut huggers. And I don't have no problem with Errol Spence. And I'm going to make, make this very clear. I have no problem with Errol Spence. A lot of these dudes is just Errol Spence nut huggers. They PBC nut huggers and they Al Heyman nut huggers. They don't want to hear the truth, so they're going to get on their YouTube channels and tell lie after lie. I'm presenting you facts. You can go look this video up. Go to the PBC channel on YouTube. It's right there. Am I lying? Am I making up shit? But you didn't see no videos where people talking about that. I'm just keeping it 100. I told you, man. At the end of the day, the truth going to get presented to the fans, to the real fans. Not the PBC fans. Not the Al Heyman fans. And not the, the diehard Errol Spence fans. The fans of boxing. So I'm just keeping it 100. Don't come on my channel saying, oh, you just hate Errol. I don't hate Errol Spence. I have nothing against brother Errol Spence. I've interviewed Errol Spence on more than one occasion, and I, I hope Errol Spence is not thinking I'm attacking him. I know Errol Spence watching my video. Errol, I have nothing against you, brother. It's not you. It's not you. It's your, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's your fans. You know what I'm saying? So, Errol, I'm not attacking you. Straight up. Because I know Errol watches these videos. So I hope Errol don't think that I'm attacking him. I'm attacking his fans. But let's just let's just face the fact, man. At the end of the day, like I said, a lot of these dudes, they don't 
they don't want to see see reality. They don't want to face reality. Even when you put it right before they eyes, they gonna make up something. They gonna they, like I said, I think it's a damn shame that you got people that hate hate Bud Crawford, but then they cool with guys who got daddies that say racist shit about black people and you know what I'm saying and it it it, it, it you know this that and the third and other shit. So I'm just keep I'm just keeping it 100. The video speaks for itself. It came right out of Sean Porter's mouth. And like I said, I do believe Kenny want to fight. I do believe that they want to fight. It's a good fight. It's a challenge. But at the end of the day, truth got to be told. For people that's pushing this fight, I guarantee you if the fight get made, they going to change the narrative. If but No, it's only a good fight unless Sean Porter wins this fight. Now, if Bud beat Sean Porter... It's going to be excuse after excuse made. I promise you that. You're going to hear excuse after excuse. It's a good fight unless Bud wins. You're going to hear, oh, well, Sean Porter was coming off a loss. Oh, Sean Porter didn't beat Errol Smith. Oh, well, you know what? He took so much damage from Errol Smith, which he didn't. I mean, it. I, I, I mean, and I'm just keeping it 100. And then, and then another thing, the most important thing, Sean don't have a belt. And I'm finna get on Danny Garcia too. But nevertheless, I had to put that out there. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.